Can you think of a time when the real patient voice and their experience impacted or changed the direction or really, you know, beyond just an emotional, boy, that was really a great story. But I mean, it, it moved you to a different action step. Yeah, that is, uh, that's a, an important question. Yeah, so as I said, I've been, uh, what has impacted me is listening to patient stories and patient journeys. Um, as I was listening to the different podcasts, I noticed a pattern. And I noticed this pattern only among the US patients. They were talking very bravely about their clinical journey and how they got a lot of help along the way from different physicians, clinicians, uh, therapists, caregivers. Um, and sometimes they had to overcome some challenges. Overall, they were very motivated to heal themselves, to, to, to get back to normal life. The, and, and they spoke with an attitude of hope and, um, and um, grit when it came to cost of care, all of them had a low point at some some point within their journey. Whether they almost lost their house or their caregivers left them because they could not afford a nurse to come in and they were just tired of taking care of the patient themselves. Um, or they, you know, that, that insurance just stopped covering because they went from one set of care to another. Um, and that really struck me as an important piece that we need to solve for. And what that meant to us from a business decision point of view is to have uh, therapy integration managers that took the patient from site, site of care to site of care. 